welcome back. It's Friday. How was your week? Mine was pretty good. I uh, got a lot of things accomplished this week and I always like, I feel good when I get stuff done, you know? Had a lot of good videos, kind of a good variety of videos this week. I know last Saturday I put up the Chit Chatter Day of the NARS Duo um, that was requested by you guys. And then Monday I put up a Vitacost haul. Wednesday was a very informative but yet interesting video about how I pair my makeup and my lipstick together and a little lesson on color draping. So if you haven't seen any of those videos, I will link all that information below. I always list everything down below. So if you're ever wondering, and now I started linking um, the products that I talk about and listing them because I've had requests for that in the past and so I have now decided to do that. So that is all that, everything I'm going to talk about today including past videos and everything, people's channels, everything will be listed down below. So let's kick off this Friday with telling you what is for dinner. I have been forgetting. I have been neglecting the past couple weeks. I'm so sorry. Um, tonight, it's all about my husband. Um, it is going to be, I'm going to fry up some sausage. I actually, my daughter likes it, kielbasa. I'm not a huge fan, but it's okay. And he likes that with sauerkraut and potatoes. So it's a really hearty northern, <laughs> northern type meal tonight. Not my favorite, quite honestly, but he likes it, so, and my daughter actually really likes it, too. I'm not going to be a fan of him later this evening after he eats all that cabbage, but um, he likes it when it's going down, you know. So, uh, another thing I wanted to mention before I get into my favorites here is that I did post uh, a couple new blog posts on my blog, ChelseaGary.com. If you haven't yet checked it out, I'm just in the, you know, I have quite a few different um, posts up but I'm still working on getting more and more out there for you guys. It takes me a while, as you know, I upload four days a week here, and then I've started that as a means to share other things with you other than beauty. However, I do like to put beauty things on there. Um, but my wines of the week have been going up on my blog, and this week I posted um, a little sneak peek into my home, how I do some simple decorating for Christmas and winter, actually, too. So head on over to ChelseaGary.com. Um, Put your email in and so you can be subscribed and stay up to date with me and what's going on in my home. So let's get started with All right. the favorites. Um, let's see. I'm going to start with the big fat fail first. And this is not a fail on my part. Um, okay, so last weekend I was at work and I called my husband to see how things were going and he, he said everything was fine. So then I called him back a little bit later and he informed me that my son snuck into this room, which I usually leave locked on purpose, um, and decided to mutilate two of my lipsticks. One of them I, I can live with. And when I say mutilate, do, can you see the bottom there? It's absolutely gone. And you know, you want to know where all that lipstick was? Right there on my carpet. Bright pink lipstick everywhere. This is Urban Decay Obsessed. So I no longer own this lipstick. It is absolute trash. So... <laughs> Word to the wise, um, keep your lipsticks up. And the sad part about it is, is the fact that I am a, like, a lipstick junkie. And then, of course, I, I, I can see why. As a two-year-old, you go to mommy's lipsticks and you pick up the brightest, most beautiful packaging, which just happens to be a limited edition MAC lipstick that came out this summer. Mutilated. Um, this is Goddess of the Sea. So, I'm quite sad about this one. This one, really, I mean, he did a number. No lipstick left in the tube. Yes, it was all over my carpet. So I came home to scrubbing for days the carpet. Thank goodness for OxyClean. Um, anyways, it made me kind of sad because as a lipstick junkie and slash hoarder, not hoarder, but you know, I like to collect lipsticks. Um, I no longer own those and the limited edition one kind of made me sad because as you know with MAC, once it's limited edition and it's gone, it's gone forever. And it happened to be a shade that I, I mean, this I can dupe out, but this Goddess, Goddess of the Sea, I can't dupe out. Like, I have nothing in my collection like it, so I had a moment of, <sighs> anyways, we're moving on. Okay, so let's jump into my favorites. As you've seen by the title, we, me and my husband, have decided these are the best chocolate chips in the world. We, and my husband is a skeptic when it comes to anything chocolate I mean, he's not a big sweets guy, but anything chocolate that says dairy-free, you know, uh, nut-free, soy-free, he's like, is that really even chocolate? All right, so I hauled these on Monday in my Vitacost haul. I purchased these off of Vitacost. They are the Enjoy Life Semi-Sweet Mini Chips. I gave him a handful of this before I showed him the package, and he's like, what are those? I want more. This chocolate is amazing. If you have any sort of allergy, 
these are the chocolate chips you're going to want. I bought four bags and we may or may not have already polished off a couple. We're eating these by the handfuls, but it's they're free of wheat, dairy, peanuts, tree nuts, eggs, soy, fish, and shellfish. Like these are, and they're delicious. Um, so here's the best part. The ingredients, there's three. There's nothing fake, there's nothing artificial. It's evaporated cane juice, natural chocolate liqueur, and non-dairy cocoa butter. Quite honestly, they're fabulous. Highly recommend these. Um, even if you don't have any of those allergies, these are delicious. These are better than any chocolate I have tried out on the market, and I'm not kidding you. They're mini chips, so they're smaller, great to give your kids, mix it in with some nuts, make some trail mix make cookies, or just heck, open up a bag and start popping them off, because that's what we've been doing. And they were really affordable too, they were not expensive chocolate, because sometimes you know you get all this specialty stuff and you pay a specialty price. No, I got four of these um, off of Vitacost. I can't remember how much they were, but they were affordable. So my Vitacost link is below if you are interested. Um, if it's your first time using it, please and thank you. Um, you'll save $10 as will I. I always want to be honest with you guys about that. Um, if you order off of Vitacost a lot, you already have your account, head on over there and pick some of these up because I'm not even kidding you. They're amazing. Okay, enough about that. I get really excited about food. I love food, especially my sweets. My second favorite is this scarf. Okay, so as you know, I've been talking a lot about Jane.com. Well, before I started talking about it, I had been shopping on there for a couple years. I just recently have gotten back on the bandwagon. My mom had been ordering some things, so it triggered my brain to start checking out the website. It's this flash sale website for boutiques. So it's all this cutesy stuff that is really inexpensive, and then you're supporting like um, smaller businesses around the United States. Anyways, I bought this scarf off of there for $6.99. Okay, so it is super soft and it came in several different colors, but I of course went with red because I have a cream jacket and I have a black jacket. And I just thought red, Christmas, it just goes. It just is really pretty. And for me, it's a good color. Um, it's very lightweight. It's, you know, I bought it to primarily wear like with outfits or when I go out. See now, our winters aren't as terrible as where I, where I grew up in Wisconsin, so it's much more cooler. But I still like to wear a scarf that's not so chunky and heavy that when I get into the store, I'm sweating bullets because it's keeping me super warm. When I'm outside, I want it to be warm, but when I'm inside, I want, especially if it's kind of more fashionable, um, not that this can't be for warmth because it truly is keeping me quite warm at the moment. Um, but it's a lighter weight, which is really nice to layer. And so, um, I love this. I think it's super cute. It's super soft. It kind of, as you can see, has uh, a wa kind of like a waffle knit, but kind of larger. Um, it's beautiful. It came in, gosh, I want to say at least, sorry, my hair didn't stay curled today. It's been curled since early this morning and I was cleaning the garage and sweeping outside and all that good stuff. So anyways, I think it came in like uh, 12 different colors or something like that, but $6.99. And you know, I, I searched Target. I searched um, like TJ Maxx and Marshalls for similar things like this and none none of those places had one for $6.99 nor was it this soft so highly recommend this one too. My next favorite is something I've never talked about well not these particular ones because I just got these which is why I wanted to share them with you because they are new. Um, I love pajamas. I live in pajamas. I live in comfy clothes. I'm actually wearing comfy pants right now. Um, so therefore, I feel the need to own like a hundred pairs of pajamas. So I was out at the mall last week and I stopped into Victoria's Secret and they have so many cute pajamas out right now. I can't even begin to tell you. However, I saw these and I wanted to share these with you because they are new. They are on their website right now. If you go to the store, you will see them. They look like this. They are this cute, um, it's a gown. I like to wear gowns. I don't like to feel constricted at nighttime. Um, I, I like to collect pajamas that I can wear when I have like family hair. I could throw these on with a cute pair of leggings underneath or like capri leggings or I could just wear it like this, you know, when you have your father and, and uh, brother and, you know, guys in the house you don't want to wear skimpy pajamas. But these are cute enough and comfy enough that you could wear them with a big comfy pair of socks. They are long sleeve, but I do like to roll mine. You can roll the cuffs up like this and make them three quarter sleeve and it's really, really cute. Um, but it's lightweight. It's like a pink and gray uh, thermal, but it's not a heavy thermal. It's a nice lightweight thermal. Um, 
I don't like, like I said, I don't like to be hot at night. I actually sleep with a fan on and no covers. And my husband has, he's like freezing. <laughs> but I'm like, I can't, I don't like to feel suffocated. So anyways, I wanted to share these with you because I thought they were really cute. And um, head on out or go to victoriasecret.com and uh, pick a cute, there's so many. They actually have these in um, like a top, the same pattern in a top and the thermal um, leg, like uh, pants, if you like that. But I just thought this particular pattern was so, so cute and feminine and just fun. Um, it does have little snowflakes on it, but it's not so large that it says winter or it says only wear me. Like, I don't think pajamas are seasonal, but maybe some of you feel that way. But I don't think it, it just specific is like a thermal pattern, I guess is what I'm trying to say. All right, let's get into the makeup stuff. Okay, so this week... I was in Walgreens, I had to make a return, and so I decided to just kind of, you know, walk down the aisles and see what there was, and I saw this nail polish, and I just, it just spoke to me. It said, this is your perfect holiday nail polish. It's called um, Hors d'oeuvres, and it is by Essie. I decided to put it all over my nails because I just was being lazy, but I think it'd be really cute as an accent, on an accent nail, or over top another nail polish color or if you do nail art of any kind I don't have the time or the patience for that and I'm just not very good at it um but I never claim to be a professional nail person anyways it's a beautiful shade it has like larger specks of like silver hexagram and then small micro glitter of like gold and silver and it almost has like a pink or a blue iridescence to it I don't know it's beautiful I don't know if you're really going to be able to see that on camera here, but it's just absolutely stunning. I'm not sure if this is new or if this is an oldie but goodie and I just finally found it or what, but it's absolutely stunning. I think it's beautiful and so flattering on my skin tone. So wanted to share that with you guys. All right, my next favorite. Okay, so I owned this for about a, about a year, both of these products. And I finally decided to start rotating out my foundations for my winter because I've been wearing the same, pretty much the same colors all summer long, like, um, because most of the summer foundations are darker shades, obviously. Um, so now I'm getting a little bit more fair, so I need to pull out my more winter foundations. Well, I found this. And this combination is what I've been wearing all week. And I think it is beautiful. It's what I'm wearing today. I think it's very flattering on the skin and it gives you the coverage you need. So here, here it goes. It's a combination of things. So not a huge combination, but it's the Smashbox CC Cream and I'm in the shade um, Fair. This has an SPF of 30, which is great. A really great high SPF is, I always recommend that, especially if you're gonna be outside. Um, this is the CC Cream, so it's gonna help um, fade those dark spots over time. But the reason I like this CC Cream is because it offers a really good coverage. Um, it also is easy to apply. You just use your fingers to do it. And um, so I start off by putting this after my primer all over my face. And since fair is a little bit too fair for me right now, I'm heading into that ghostly uh, pale skin soon, but still it's a little bit fair. Um, I go on top of it with this. And this is the Smashbox Liquid Halo HD Foundation. Um, I'm in the shade 3. So this has a lot more warmth to it than the fair CC cream does. And what I do is I took a couple pumps of this on the back of my hand and then I use the Sigma Flat um, Foundation Brush F60 and I took this foundation and I just lightly applied it over the center of my face and blended it out with this brush. This foundation has a very light coverage but the finish on it really reminds me of the finish of say the Dior Star where it has this um, like a luminous, I don't want to say luminous to like oily or shiny or anything like that. It just has this very beautiful glow, halo type of um, finish on it. So the CC cream has more of like a natural to luminous finish. It's more for um, normal to dry skin where the BB cream in the Smashbox is more for like if you have oily skin, I would recommend that one over this one. Um, however, when you put this on top, you can see I'm a, I mean, I did powder on my face and I've been wearing this, gosh, uh, for a good five hours now. So I'm starting to get a little bit dewy, but overall, 
Plus I have the sun coming in right here at this time today, so it's kind of throwing it off. But overall, the finish on this is just beautiful. I just feel like very angelic and glowy, and I've been really digging the combination of these two things. Because I don't like to look too matte, but I don't want to look too dewy, you know what I mean? Because over the course of the day, you're going to get really, really dewy. So these two together have just been an absolutely beautiful finish. Alright, I've been digging around in my collection this week, guys. And I found this poor little neglected brush and I started using it and I really am enjoying it. It is the uh, Real Techniques Contour Brush and as you can see I've been using this for my bronzer, um, contouring it. Not like I use a bronzer brush to um, bronze up my um, complexion but I use, I've been using this brush to contour and it's just, you know, it's a nicely pointed brush. It's not too dense. It's dense enough that you can get the product more saturated in a specific area but it's not so dense that you can't you can't you know really easily and nicely contour but it's soft it's really an affordable brush and it works really well for the hollows of those cheekbones or you know contouring out the sides of your nose or underneath your jawline here i've been really enjoying this brush i usually use the nars Eda brush or i used to use the sigma contour brush but you know what i've been really digging this brush this also works really good if you like to contour out the hollows of your eyes. I sometimes like to do that with just bronzer and then forego like eyeshadow and all that um, jazz. But I've been really liking this brush and I would recommend trying it out if you um, are in the market for a new uh, contour brush. These are affordable options and they are sold. Um, I'll leave the link below but you can buy these at Ulta if you prefer to just go to the store. All right, for eyes, for eyes, another, you know, this is a week of Smashbox, not on purpose, guys. I just, I just started pulling things and this is what happened. Um, this palette has been very neglected. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. I've been wearing it all week and I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, it's the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. Now, since last year, I got this last year, they've come out with the new Double Exposure Palette. I do not own that, but I wanted to share this with you guys because right now, you can get this palette with a, uh, a mini mascara and of course it comes with the double ended brush and um, I think for what is it $49 you get the mini mascara the double ended brush and 16 shadows I think this is a really good palette at a really good price um, you get eight matte shades and then you get eight um, well shimmery glittery type shades but this the shade right here in the middle is actually a satin finish I have that in my inner corner and then I have these four colors is what I have used today. Um, I love this because you have warm shades on this side and then you have cooler toned shades on this side. It's a really versatile palette. I really like the quality of the shadows. Um, at first, I did not like any of these shades. I felt like they, like the top layer uh, just prevented the your brush from picking any product up. It was really hard to work with. But I think... You kind of have to dig down a little bit, and then it seems to work really well. Now, I did not use this brush to apply these today. I used my Sigma brushes, and I found that they blended out so well. And they created such a really just pretty simple look. I mean, I didn't go for anything really complex. Um, but I've really been digging this palette, and um, if you're in the market for a nice neutral palette, check this one out. And, and now that they have it with a little mascara and everything, it's pretty much a, a bow-and-go situation as far as gifting is concerned. And for $49, I think that's a really good price point for all that is included. So this week, I haven't been feeling like doing black eyeliner or anything like that. I've been feeling like doing something a little bit more soft, a little a little more subtle of an eyeliner. And so I've been going for dark brown. So today, on my waterline and then my top lash line, I am using a dark brown gel eyeliner. And this just happens to be by Smashbox once again, and it's just called dark brown. It's a really nice, rich chocolate brown. It's not too... Um, it leans more on the warm side of things, has a little bit more red in it, so it's not too dark. So if you don't like black gel eyeliner, or you don't really like black eyeliner in general, I think dark brown is a, is is the a, the next best way to really contour out and um, you know line and define your eyes. If you have brown or um, blue eyes or green eyes, dark brown is going to be such a soft, subtle, smoky type way to do it. Um, 
Even if you have brown eyes, it's just a little bit more of a subtle way to do it if you don't want that harsh line. Um, and then today I didn't even do a cat liner or anything. I just lined my top and my um, bottom lash lines here. And I really like this. I think it's a nice, it stays really well in my waterline. I always recommend if you want something to stay all day to take some brown shadow or the corresponding eye, um, eye color to whatever liner you're using um, and, and, and set your liner with that and then it will stay all day but I, I find that this stays in my waterline for quite some time so I think this is a good product and I would recommend checking this out and for lips I've been wearing two things this week um I've been really digging the red lips you know I just think it's a very feminine uh feminine color to wear I just think it's so flattering um and especially as we get into like Thanksgiving and Christmas coming up you have those parties to go to when I guess whenever I think of like going out to a party or a Christmas party or a gathering of some sort I always think nighttime red lip I just think it's classy I think it looks flattering on every woman it's just a matter of finding the right shade and the shade that you're comfortable wearing um I've been wearing this Dior Addict Fluid Stick in the shade 753 Open Me these are these are an expensive product but the reason they're lovely is well check out the packaging first of all second of all it's kind of like a hybrid between a lipstick and a gloss but they are very long wearing um i had worn this to work and i was drinking water and my lips still looked good now i do wear a lip liner under this so as the color wears off i still have a little bit of something on my lips but these come in a lot of different shades um you can get more of like a blue based red this one's a little bit more warm a little more or of orange undertones in it but i Sorry I keep playing with my hair, but I have a feeling it's not curled anymore and it's driving me crazy. Um, anyways, I really like these Dior Attic Fluid Sticks. And if you're looking for something a little bit luxurious, beautiful packaging, perhaps a gift for someone, this is a nice gift. It truly is. Um, it's expensive for a lip product, but you don't need a ton because it really lasts. It's not like a gloss that's going to go on and slip off. It's, it's that hybrid, so it's going to have that staying power. So I've been really liking that. And the last thing I've been loving, um, I, I kind of forgot that I had this, and that's sad because it's Chanel. Um, it's my first and only Rouge Coco Shine, and it's in the shade Boy. I've just been kind of going for a really simple throw it on your lips and go kind of situation, and this is that. For me, since my lips are already quite pigmented, this isn't as pink as the swatch is going to show you. Um, it really just gives my lips a little bit of something. It's really that subtle, um, subtle color, you know, when you don't want something really high maintenance. This is a, the Rouge Coco Shines are not anything that's going to stay on your lips, but while they are on your lips, they're very feminine and flattering, and they just make your lips look juicy and inviting. <laughs> not that you want everybody to be looking at your lips and thinking that, but for yourself. You know, for yourself. That's how I feel. I've, if it makes me feel good, then I need that product in my life. So that is all my favorites this week, guys. It was kind of a long one. It was kind of a little bit chatty, but did you expect anything less? I mean, if you've been around here for a while, you know how I am. So tomorrow is the uh, requested Chit Chatter Day, so stay tuned for that tomorrow afternoon. And what else did I want to share with you guys? Oh, I have some new things in store for you in December. I'm quite excited about it. So if you haven't yet subscribed, um, make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay around so you don't miss anything new from me. And um, I think that's all I have for you guys today. So I hope you have a fabulous day and I'll talk to you again soon.